Hello friend, Mormo here. Today we're talking about developing a persuasive art sales techniques. And uh, basically you need to create a desire in your customer to own your work, to own your art, or to hire you at, for a commission. You need to create that desire for them to own your work. And uh, you want to make sure that you don't have an us versus them mentality. Remember that you're helping your customer get a unique, original piece of art for a great price. And it's a great investment and it comes with extras and everything extra that you do. And you want to understand the psychology of art buyers. For instance, are they a collector, just somebody who collects rare and interesting things? Are they an investor, somebody who might want to flip your artwork in the future? I know a lot of people like to buy art from up and coming artists, people who are just getting started and um, they feel that like that person might become famous one day as an artist and then the art they buy will be very valuable and that's another psychology of art buyers and then there's people who are sentimental and they just want to stuff a piece of that artist to hold on to um, and uh, you want to build a relationship with potential buyers and collectors so you want to be sure and capture their contact information have a way to follow up that they'll get notified of your new artwork I know that on eBay, people can follow your um, your account, and that way they'll be notified every time you upload a new art piece. And uh, or you can get their email or friend them on social media or whatever. But you want to build an audience of uh, art appreciators and then that way you can tell them when you have a new piece of art for sale or if you have a bargain if you take your prices down um, you can notify your um, potential buyers and collectors and effective, you want to learn effective communication and storytelling to enhance the perceived value of your art. And like this goes back to having a good artist bio. Having a good artist bio, you should be able to tell to tell a story of your life that makes you seem like an interesting character, a person of interest, and just share things about your own experience and stories of making art, the story behind the art, and uh, communicating how you made the art and what it means to you and what being an artist means to you and um, and that will help help you sell your artwork and uh, make your artwork a desired product that people want to buy and people are willing to exchange their money for and keep watching.
Hello friend, Mormo here. I've started my very own collection and personal series of trading cards. Each one is personally hand drawn and designed by me. This has been a creative and lucrative business for myself. I personally autograph and date each one. Each card is uniquely different. If you would like to order a card today, you can search for Mormozine on eBay or contact me at mormozine at hotmail.com. Thanks so much. Okay, friends, so there's some tips for uh, how to sell artwork, and I've done pretty well myself selling artwork. Just about everything I make sells eventually for the price I want. It doesn't always sell immediately, but it'll sell eventually. And uh, if you want to check, check out what I have to offer, I'll put a link in the description to my eBay store where you can buy my art. And I mostly sell art cards. I also have a quarter page from um, a zine I used to publish 20 years ago. This is the 20th anniversary of me as Mormo. And so I'm selling off some of my old punk art. So go ahead and click the link in the description. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold. But uh, go ahead and click the link in the description. And check out my store. Uh, my prices are pretty good. Art cards are really reasonable. And they're easy to flip. Thanks so much for watching, man. Thanks so much for watching.